In this lesson, you'll learn about the Shape Builder tool and the Live Paint Bucket tool in the specific context of logo design. So if you look at this here, it looks like a simple symbol, right? It's kind of symmetrical and it's kind of like a flower shape. Uh, but as I hover over, you notice these circles, right? And if I use the Direct Selection tool, just click one of these, I can move it around. It starts to actually adjust the edge so it makes it asymmetrical, for example. Or I could rotate it, something like that, make it more like a butterfly type look, and then use the white selection again, make it asymmetrical. You know, there's many different things we could do. So how do you create something like this? Well, this is actually pretty simple. You go to the ellipse tool, so go ahead and create a new Illustrator file. Click and hold onto the rectangle tool, go to the ellipse tool. Click and drag out, just a shape here. And if we want to see the edges, let's just make no fill and then have just a skinny stroke here. So flip those so that you have some kind of color for the stroke. I just have one point and then no fill. And then Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, click and drag and hold Shift so it remains level like that. All right. Then click and drag around both of these and then Alt or Option, click and drag again and just hold Shift. So it goes straight down. You just want to bring the top of that area here to meet the bottom of that. So uh, that looks pretty good. And you can see the pattern here, right? It's right there. How do you make that just a shape? Well, what we can do is I'm going to select them all here. And I'm going to just make no fill and no stroke. So basically that has no coloring in it there. And we're going to add it with, if you click and hold over here, Click and hold onto the Shape Builder tool and just go to Live Paint Bucket. And so now you can see the fill color there set. It's just set to none. So if you press the left and right arrows on the keyboard, it will cycle through those. It's changing it over there, which, you know, if we wanted some kind of custom color, we could click there as well. Or you can press um, before you do that left and right. So I'm going to just click here, click there, click there, click there. So we've got our shape here. And if you click off, then you've got a custom shape just by using the Live Paint Bucket tool. So what it does is wherever there are shapes overlapping, or if there's just a shape that's not overlapping with anything else, you can fill it with that Paint Bucket tool. And even after the fact, we can still move it around. We can resize this, of course, the whole thing with the Selection tool, or you can use the Direct Selection tool and just click and drag one area and just customize it. Say you want it to be asymmetrical, something like that. You know, I'm just trying to experiment there. And then you could use that in a logo. So what if you want this to be just a normal shape where you don't have these extra lines here that even though they don't print out, you just want it to be, have, be a normal shape? You can go to Object and then Expand. It comes up here. And Object Fill Stroke. That's fine. Click OK. And now you've got the shape there, just like a normal shape, as if you drew it with, say, the pencil tool or some of the shape tools and just customize it. All right. So now we can use the white arrow, move it around, customize it even more, or the black selection tool, and it'll select all of it. You can go to Object, Ungroup, it'll ungroup that. I'll do that again, there we go. So that's how you can come up with more custom shapes using the Live Paint tool. So you can create some pretty cool shapes. This is more, this might be too busy for a logo per se, but Things like this are pretty fun to make. You can uh, experiment and just try different looks. Something like this, all you'd have to do is just click and drag a circle out, and then just hold down to Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and then with the selection tool, just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, or you can select it all, click and drag again, and you just get this, these uh, overlapping areas. And then you use, again, the Live Paint Bucket tool. Just to show you this again, it just fills in certain areas and kind of gives you a preview with that kind of border look. You can press the left arrow, change a color. So it's a pretty fun uh, technique that you can come up with different things. Now this one, as well as like this one and this one here, let me zoom it out. Um, this one was actually just duplicated, but this one and this one above it, what you do is you draw some kind of shape out. So Let's just say I have the polygon tool, click and drag it, and just press the down arrow until you get to the triangle, and then hold shift if you want it to be level. And then what you can do is just go to object, transform, transform each, 
and just change it to some kind of rotation and click copy. I did 45 degrees on this one and then press control D to do it again and then well didn't need to do it again but anyway you can it almost is like a spirograph effect at this point so then you can just select it all and then click none and then live paint bucket tool and again you can just fill this in and just be creative with different colors all right this is going to be a little bit too busy probably for a logo but hopefully you get the idea and the technique in the context of logo design so practice with that. The other one, Shape Builder tool, you know, traditionally we want to say create a logo with some clouds, right? We could just click and drag, and then click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, make a basic cloud shape that's pretty simple. And we want to select around them. We don't just go to object group. What we can do, of course, is go to the pathfinder. We could go to unite and it would unite it, right? Well, what you can also do alternatively to that is do the same thing where you draw out a couple shapes here select them all and then over on the shape builder tool what you do is click and drag and whatever you click and drag over it will make that a shape all right so i could click and drag over all of this obviously and it would make it just one shape but as you can see here you know, it's got that extra behind it. It cut it apart into different shapes, right? Which you could use to make it kind of a simple shape here. Now, if you wanted all of those, let me go back. Or so if you wanted all of those as one shape builder tool, just click and drag. Whoops. It's got to be selected. So, all right. So then, shape builder tool, and you just click and drag around all of them. All right. Now it combines it as one shape. So the same effect, you've got this with Pathfinder, this with the Shape Builder tool. Now, if you're clicking, you click and let go, click and let go, click and let go, and then hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, that'll actually subtract from that shape area. So if you do something like that, it'll actually get rid of those parts of the shape. All right. So now you've still got separate shapes here because you didn't click and drag over them with the plus, but uh, just trying to give you an idea of what that does in the context of logo design. You're trying to create simple but stylized and distinct shapes. Uh, and so just experiment with that and see what you can come up with. But if you want to make some symmetrical shapes like this or asymmetrical or just experiment with different methods, just check that out. It's the Shape Builder tool. Is You're building a shape by clicking and dragging over many of them or just selecting them. And again, Alt or Option. You can subtract from the shape. And then Live Paint Bucket Tool just paints either shapes or where shapes are overlapping. So something like that you could create pretty quickly with that tool. So if you want, just go to File, Save for Web, and save it as a JPEG or PNG. And then just upload it to the course discussion board for critique, and we can check out what you've been working on. Thanks.